there's a relationship between sodium and blood pressure and the thyroid. Can you just talk about that pathway a little bit for people to understand? Yeah. So, so hypothyroidism causes hypertension. Um, the beat, it causes vascular resistance because the heart has to beat so much harder because everything is slowed down. So there's less volume for each heartbeat. So it has to be boom harder and that causes vascular resistance, therefore causing hypertension at the same time. And we're not even considering the adrenergic stimulation of the hyperthyroid, which would also cause hypertension, sympathetic hypertension, which is most people who have hypertension have sympathetic hypertension, but then they go on beta blockers. But anyway, um, <laughs> you have sodium issues and hypothyroidism. Your body will, the kidneys don't handle salt right anymore. They don't handle any, any electrolytes properly anymore. So you will have a tissue accumulation of sodium because it's not being drained by the kidneys. So the, the uh, organs aren't getting sodium. So they're not getting the really important sodium potassium pump activators for you know, stimulation of function, but you have all the sodium in the tissue. So you're very sensitive to salt. Tiny bit of salt makes you feel terrible because your, your body thinks it has all the salt in you, but it's not getting to the heart. And that causes a lot of problems. So what do they do? Because I, I do have clients like that, right? In their hair mineral tests, they'll show that they need salt. But when they yeah. feel, take salt, they feel horrible. And they are hypothyroid. So what's the idea? Um, I would also look at adrenal function. Because, you know, the adrenals are the ones that aldosterone via the kidney. I would also yeah. look at Adrenal but I feel like everyone is high stress. So at this point with my clients, I just think, okay, aldosterone, the adrenals, the endocrine systems already crashed. So let's focus on, you know, the thyroid and gut health and obviously lowering all the stress. But so what would you recommend to somebody like that though? So that they have hypothyroid and they're showing needs of salt, but when they take in salt, they feel, you know, the edema and other things, they just do not feel good. So yeah. Um, well, I'd have to see how they're treating their hypothyroidism. Okay. Fair enough. That would be one very important part. So T4, mm, a lot of issues with T4, uh, with levothyroxine, um, only medications because there's, there's only T4. So we're, we've been talking a long time about conversion. There will be conversion issues if you can't convert the T4 into T3, T2, T1. Okay. So that'll definitely. And then also, I mean, I have patients who are feeling terrible and after a week of a high fat carnivore diet and iodine, they want to go run or they want to do something because they feel, and maybe they feel a tiny bit better or they just feel like they have to, they should. I always say exercise should be fun. And if you really have the energy to do it, do it, but don't push yourself. Otherwise, you're only going to worsen your thyroid function, your adrenal function. You definitely won't lose weight. 